In the middle of a dark, quiet room, filled only by the sounds of humming machines, a figure floats, suspended. She, Icy, has no memories, no past. Memories to her are not important. Her existence only serves one purpose, to kill Judas. That wicked devil, the bringer of the apocalypse. No matter how many difficulties or obstacles she will face, Icy understands that she must accomplish her mission. Destroy Judas. In the darkness, Icy awakes. At first, she seems unwilling to leave. Well, her home is the simple stasis tank. The thought of venturing out to kill Judas is not enough to arouse her interests. You wouldn't even wake up if there was an earthquake. Lazy. Do my words mean nothing to you? Or do you simply not understand what I'm saying? Oh, wait. I know, I know. Actually, Icy hasn't woken up. She's just dreamed that she's awake. Like that movie, A Dream Within a Dream? Perhaps she's inside someone else's dream. She'll probably only wake up when Carcosa appears. The black star always rises. Good night, Icy. In the middle of a dark, quiet room, filled only by the sounds of humming machines, a figure floats, suspended. She, Icy, has no memories, no past. Memories to her are not important. Her existence only serves one purpose, to kill Judas. That wicked devil, the bringer of the apocalypse. No matter how many difficulties or obstacles she will face, Icy understands that she must accomplish her mission. Destroy Judas. In the darkness, Icy awakes. Icy has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas is hiding. Oh, more soldiers sit by Judas to stop Icy. Kill them. Icy reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace.
There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. Icy moves to activate it. Icy slips off the edge of the cliff. Icy is absolutely positive that the only way to cross the ravine, for some unknown reason, Icy insisted on jumping into the ravine. She didn't realize that she has to press a button to activate the bridge. Icy finally understands how to activate the photon bridge. Use what? You jumped again? God, why did you jump down there again? You have zero common sense. Wait, wait, don't panic. There's something I wanted to ask you. Are you messing with me? I told you time after time. It couldn't be any more simple. All you had to do was walk over there and press the button. Just walk slowly, press the button. Why do you insist on jumping over and over? I've never met anyone like you, refusing to acknowledge my advice. Don't you know this is an action game? Your main goal is to go kill monsters. Don't you get that? You know, you shouldn't jump into ravines over and over, right? I can't be your guide if you won't listen. You get that, right? Trust me. If you continue like this, your story will only end tragically. I'll stop scolding you for now. I trust you know how to act from here on out, yes? Let's try this again. Ha! Well done. You win, you win. I never considered this possibility before. What do I do now? Hmm, yes, I could probably make a few changes. Make a temporary area, add a few new things. Right, and a surprise. Let's take a look at what's ahead. Remember, you absolutely must listen to my directions. Ah, you see? I even prepared a treasure chest for you. Do you think I would let you struggle without giving you any rewards? Open it, if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. Icy reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace.
There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. I see moves to activate it. A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. Icy slipped and fell right into the sewage. Uh-huh. Icy fell again. God, are you so clumsy that you can't even make it over? Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits Daha. Wait, where's the bridge? Hmm. Right, just keep following the arrow. Icy jumps down. It seems like this is an old sewer. This place is littered with wreckage. Icy feels that this place wasn't always a sewer. And who is to blame? Judas. Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. Icy discovers a hidden room. Icy opened the treasure chest and turned back to follow the arrow once more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. All that's waiting is just an empty room. See? I told you. There's nothing here. Why did you bother coming? 
Oh, I know. Your hearing must be bad. Wait for a second. That is enough. I don't want to have to remind you every single time, but this world is depending on you. That wicked devil must be destroyed. You still have much to do. Why do you insist on wasting time here? I've always believed people should be a little more trusting and a lot less pompous. But you, you haven't even given me the chance to show my true genius. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand at all. There's nothing here. Not even monsters for you to practice killing. What sort of temptation could an empty room like this have for you? Could it be that you're absolutely terrible at using a controller? Or that your cat has taken over for you? No, it can't be that. Cats could listen to instructions better than you. Your behavior is completely illogical. Is it that hard to follow an arrow? Why aren't you paying attention? Well, I'm furious. Furious! That's it. I'm not saying another word until you get out of this room. I swear it. What? Wait, does that mean... You wasted all this time in this room just to get a trophy? I... I really have nothing else to say to you. I truly do not understand why someone would play a game just to earn trophies. Are you one of those mythical achievement addicts I've heard so much about? You're like a bull rushing towards a red cloth, not knowing what awaits on the other side. Give me a second. Ah, I see. Let's try again. A trophy. A trophy! Ugh. So it's like that, huh? You don't care what happens next, right? All you think about is get this trophy, get that trophy, 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 trophy. You don't even care about the story or the content that I've prepared for you for the rest of the game. Your mission isn't to kill Judas. It's to get all the trophies. Am I wrong? So this is what you call fun. Yeah? You really think a trophy can entertain you? You're just looking for more trophy points. Do you know how that makes us game producers feel? You're rendering the content we make completely meaningless. You think playing a game for this petty reason is fun? You just want to show off to the other players. To make yourself feel big, mighty, and important. You're probably not even paying attention to what I'm saying. You don't realize how useless a trophy really is. Maybe you need a little stimulation. Maybe once after you collect all these damn trophies, you'll move on to accomplish your real mission. You have no idea how much time I spent making these enemies and stunning animations. And you, you just care about these trophies. If I had known that, I would have made some easy farming game. 
and not bothered spending time on battle animations or plot development. Just you wait. My revenge is just beginning. Wait for... He jumps down. It seems like this is an old sewer. This place is littered with wreckage. Icy feels that this place wasn't always a sewer. And who is to blame? Judas. Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. This place is littered with wreckage. Icy feels that this place wasn't always a sewer. And who is to blame? Judas. Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. Icy follows the arrow through and passes through the gate. Icy senses that the key to her escape is somewhere in front of her.
Icy discovers a special treasure chest. A strange mark flashes across her eyes. Icy's dash ability has grown stronger. She can probably even escape from this damned underground labyrinth. Icy decides to immediately return to Although it's a sewer, this place seems as if it could be incredibly clean, if it weren't for the sewer. What could cleanse this place? Ha <laughs> ha 